Today I'm going to focus on one thing, and that is a thing called iodine. And you'll see why we all need iodine. Iodine, right? Iodine is a basic element. It's, it's on the elemental ta ta table, so there's bromide, fluoride, chloride. And, el and the iodine is essential to our lives. It can have major health consequences if you do not have enough iodine. In fact, 98% of everyone in the developed world are iodine deficient. And the only place that you can get iodine is from your diet. If you're not on the right sort of diet, you cannot get enough iodine. And that's why 89% um, of the, um, of the people throughout the world are iodine deficient. So let's look at what diets cause iodine deficiency. Not enough seafood. In fact, the average person has to take 2.2 kilograms of seafood a week to get enough iodine. And um, iodized salt. There's a little bit of iodine in the salt, uh, but we, nowadays we do not eat iodine salt. We eat all the uh, all, all of the designer salts, uh, you know, kosher salt and, um, and uh, Himalayan salt, and there's a, lots of beautiful salts there out there, but they do not have any iodine in them. A high intake of baked products, in other words, breads, pastas, uh, they all inhibit uh, and have no iodine. And finally, vegan and vegetarian di diets. There is just zero, zero iodine in those diets. And then up here I've got a list of all the halides. These, uh, sorry, the gorgons, halides, these are, these are what stop the uh, uptake of the iodine. In other words, even if you're getting iodine out of seafood, right, um, quite, and quite often you are stopping the uptake because of uh, things that are in the water. For instance, chlorine and fluoride are in the wa water and it cancels out the iodine. Bromide is in everything. I mean, it's in baked products, um, and it's in your breads, it's in your pastas. In fact, the thing called enriched flour is actually, the enriching is bromide. It's a, it's a preservative. So, let's look at what iodine does for the body. Look, iodine is like the forgotten um, medical treatments for a lot of things that we used to treat as doctors. In other words, it makes the thyroid work. That's very, very important, and I'm going to cover that in a m minute. It, it, def it detoxifies all of the chemicals that you're getting uh, out of your diet and out of the air that we breathe. It's an antiseptic to bacteria, algae, fungi, viruses, and that is very, very important as we're exposed to those in our, in our everyday lives. It's an autoimmune mechanism, so it actually stops a lot of the autoimmune and diseases. And there's an old-fashioned thing, if you've got food poisoning, you take iodine. It's an antiseptic. In fact, um, what, they used to, what you do if you go out hiking or camping, you take these this little uh, the, you know, iodine, you put it in your water, and it purifies your wa water, so you can drink, drink it. Uh, this is a friend of mine, his name is Doug, and, he, and just look at his neck, he appears to have two Adam's a apples. He's got one up here and he's got one down there. Uh, but what, what he's actually got is a goiter. The lower part of his neck is very, very badly enlarged, and, um, and uh, that is called a go goiter. In fact, I've been looking around some of you in the o audience, and I actually see that uh, you and you and you and you, you actually have the goiter lines around your neck from lack, from lack of iodine. So the, these are some of the physical symptoms that you can see. Uh, in other words, if you stick your tongue out, if your tongue is enlarged and it's got teeth impression in, impressions along the side, uh, you have, you, that's caused from lack of iodine. More so, lack of iodine is the major the major contributor towards breast cancer for women, uterine fibroids, ovarian cysts, and for men, prostate enlargement. Diabetes. Right? I tested 
on our, um, we actually have an iodine testing machines here. We, and I tested, have tested hundreds and hundreds of Emiratis. And we found, out of those hundreds of Emiratis, about two people whose iodine was in the normal level. Two out of the hundreds that I, that I tested. Therefore, I think that the prevalence of iodine is a lot worse in the UAE than in, than in other parts of the world because of the diet. Um, in fact, the very big center that I, the, uh, or the, uh, the diabetic center that I measured, that I, uh, the government diabetic center that I measured, that I visited recently in Sharjah, has a one and a half per six, a one and a half percent success rate of curing diabetes. One and a half percent. Why? And that's published in their magazines, by, by the way. Why? Because they do not treat iodine. Baby ge geniuses. We all, like, we all like to think that our children are going to be ge geniuses. Right? Well, this is the problem. The developing fetus needs five times as much iodine across the placenta than what the, than what the mother needs. But, of course, 98% of, 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 of all you women here are iodine deficient. This causes a drop in the IQs of a baby by 11 points, and it's not reversible. If you don't have enough iodine, it is not reversible. And it also causes the, um, a lot of the alphabet soup of attention deficit disorders. ADD A and A ADHD. It also affects the brain development of the feet of the feet of the feeders. Um, so now we're seeing a whole generation of children being born with the IQs below 100. Let's talk a little bit about cancer. No one wants cancer, right? I'm going to talk a little bit about my wife. This is my wife. She's about 56 or 57 years old. Perfect health, right? Uh, was very, she exercised every day, uh, and um, she, uh, she kept herself fit, and um, she was very, very conscious of her diet. And, of course, we were strict. We were very strict vegetarians. Um, what happened is... She, we had no iodine in, in her diet. She got breast cancer. She only had four weeks to live when this, when, when this photograph was taken. She was dying. We, I didn't realize, not, we went to every single specialist, the best breast specialist around, and not one of them, not one of them told me that an iodine could have helped. By the way, um, so she followed the classic, uh, the cl the cl classic role of uh, starting with breast lumps. Uh, cancer uh, takes twenty to thirty years to to evolve. In fact, um, uh, between about ninety five percent of all women have some form of breast lumps. This is her today. She, I did get her to survive. Uh, that's her on the left, with, with, and with my da da daughter. The final thing is thyroid. All right? Iodine makes your thyroid work. work. Without enough iodine, um, your thyroid will not work. And your thyroid is the central railway station for all of your hormones. If your thyroid doesn't work, I know that all your other hormones will not work. So iodine is absolutely e and essential. Some of you have got these symptoms, um, and I've, uh, I think I've run out of time, uh, but it, with constant feeling of cold, tiredness, sluggishness, poor memory, more depressed, mood changes e easily. So if you decide, right, that your doctor's not going to tell you about taking iodine, um, you should 
take care that you get enough iodine. Uh, I, brought, I brought these little bottles along the outside. There's a bottle for everyone in this room outside. This is 12.5 milligrams of iodine, and this is a purely a maintenance dose. There's a, there's a bottle out, out, out there for, for you, for everyone. There's, 30, there's one month's supply in this bottle, and the cost to you, right, if, if you to buy this re retail, is the cost of two cups of coffee a month. It's very, very inexpensive. Uh, but look what it protects you from. Thank you.